So he is comic actor Matt Berry talking about music and that on TV. I've always kind of viewed the title sequences and the title theme tunes um, within programmes as being particularly important. But there seems to be this sort of trend at the moment to just have literally the title of the show and not have any music at all, which I don't understand. They are great things to basically set the tone of the show that you're about to see. A great example of something not working in any way at all, probably Hollyoaks, which is ugly in all ways kind of possible. On a positive side, at least they've made a title sequence, and it's, you know, and it's more than three seconds long. So that brings me around to whom I really want to talk about, and that's Ronnie Hazelhurst. If you watched any comedy throughout the 70s and the 80s, you'll be more than familiar with his features. I've always adored his work, to be honest. In my opinion, he sets a perfect tone for each programme you know, that he's been asked to work on. What Ronnie managed to do was create catchy, melodic themes that are impossible to forget. Things like some others you have and it's like two recordings. But, you know, you just couldn't, you know, sort of whistle that, you know, forever. Are You Being Served is like a really good example. He was given so little cash that he couldn't afford to pay a percussionist. So what he did was get a tape loop of a till register for opening and shutting. And he did that before Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, which is uh, pretty impressive. The last of the summer one, what Ronnie's done there is an old trick where he's incorporated the show title into the melody. So what's going on there is you're watching the show, listening to the melody, but subconsciously saying the name of the title of the show while you're watching it. In my opinion, not only was he a fantastic composer, but he was also a brilliant arranger. There's something like Butterflies, which is a Dolly Parton song. If you hear the Dolly Parton verse and then you hear the Ronnie Hazel verse, there's a massive difference and it's just, it's almost sad. I just love, you know, sort of listening to that one. And things like Only Calls and Horses, which nobody thinks of him because everyone knows that it was written and sung by the actual writer, John Sullivan, who sounds like Rodney when he sings it, for some weird reason. Of all Ronnie's work, I would say my favourite piece is Sorry. And again, the visuals work perfectly with the music. What I love about the Sorry title sequence is that what you're seeing is fairly simple animated neon sign which moves in time with the music. It just works perfectly. I could watch those all day long.